Good evening, this is Matthew Wright uh, here at Ormskirk, uh, in, in Ormskirk at St Anne's Parish Church Hall. And I'm here with uh, Malika and we're here at a craft fair. Uh, Malika, why don't you introduce yourself and tell me why all these craft stalls are here tonight. My name's Malika Bradley. Um, I'm, here tonight, I'm here tonight for the MS Society to raise money and awareness okay. of what we do. MS? MS, Multiple Sclerosis. Multiple Sclerosis, yes. okay. Uh, and you're raising money from tonight by having these uh, craft, the craft fair around. Yes. Uh, we'll have a little pan round and we can see the craft fair here, people going on, lots of people buying lots of food and uh, little craft handbags, getting their nails done etc. And so why do you need to raise money for MS? Isn't it a big charity or what do you do locally that is a real benefit? Locally, the funds, the actual main office in London tends to get more of the funds going to them. Okay. In the small areas they don't seem to get much money for the local people. So the money you raise here, yeah, it will get spent locally, will it? Yeah, it okay. will yeah, help. Uh, and what do you do with the money? Um, well, we help people if they need wheelchairs, um, adaptions to the home, okay. um, help with quite a lot of things really. Okay, and uh, although people might have heard about MS on the TV and in newspapers, maybe people aren't that familiar with actually what it is, there's different types of MS. Uh, could you tell me a little bit about what MS is and how it affects people? Or maybe how, it affect, how it's affected you? Well, how it affects me is I've got secondary progressive MS. Secondary progressive, progressive. MS. Yeah, okay. which is a slow deterioration of uh, your ability to walk, use okay. um, of your hands, um, and it just slowly deteriorates over the years. And is this something you've been... Uh, You've had for some time? Or? I've been diagnosed seven years now. Seven years? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it's gradually impaired how you live? Oh yes, it has. Have you found that the MS Society has helped you? Oh yeah, they've supported me all the way. They've told me things that I can complain for. Okay. Um, they've helped me go on holiday with the children. Right. Um, to adapt to places and things like that. Well, a lot of people, if they were struck, you know, I use the word struck, and I don't mean that in a negative sense, but if they, if they have something like a, an illness such as MS, they might want to hide away at home and just feel sorry for themselves. But here you are out on a Friday night raising money for other MS sufferers. I just uh, think life doesn't stop when you've got MS. You've still got to carry on doing your day to day chores. Is that a message you tell other MS it, people? Yeah, and the society also helps you say life doesn't stop when you've got MS. Life doesn't stop when you've got MS, so no. you needn't stay at home, hide no. away. It are... makes you feel better still being in the community and if people know what you've got and help you as well. They help you. Yeah. I mean, I work in a local store right. in Norske, Okay. and they've supported me all the way. And it's nice your employer's done that, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so Malika, the MS Society is uh, locally yeah. helps people with MS. And you, um, remind us again what type of services and help that you uh, give local people with MS. Um, well, we go to like a meeting once a month, and they can give you like therapy, massages, and things like that. Okay. You can talk to other people about the MS, and they understand, and you feel a lot better when you talk to somebody else with the condition. That's when I was chatting with uh, an organisation at the hospital this morning, and they said sometimes that. People, when they retreat into themselves, yeah. it adds to the illness, the depression, it's the mental side as much as the physical side. It is, yeah. You need to be able to mentally cope with it. And do you think that's what the local MS Society does, provide support? Yeah, it does give you support. Is it just grown-ups, you know, mat uh, people, mature people who get MS? Or? No, anybody can get MS. So you men and women, boys and girls? There is children that have been diagnosed with MS, children as five. Okay. Has there been any development in the treatment or the diagnosis of MS in the last 10, 20 years? I, mean, I remember as a school kid yeah. raising money for MS. I mean, what's moved on in the last 10, 20 years? We are still researching it. And there is, there is drugs that are coming out all the time, but to get hold of these drugs is quite difficult. Okay. Do you find the local so. NHS quite supportive? Or? Yeah, the Walker Centre is where I go. Yeah, it's very okay. And there are specialist area, specialist treatment centre. We have right? MS nurses, okay. consultants, all specialised in it. Okay. And, uh, 
Uh, these people here, are they people that you know from MS or who's coming to support? Some of them are people that I know, friends, okay. colleagues, um, local people that we know. Okay, then how much do you hope to raise tonight? I've got a figure. <laughs> Two figures? Three figures? Uh, I'm hoping no less than 500 if I can. 500, okay. And if, pe okay. if people want to help raise money with you, how can yeah. they get in contact with you? Um, they can get in contact with the local MS Society, West Lancs. So if they put West Lancs or West Lancashire MS Society in Google yeah. or any other preferable search engine, yes. they can find you and get in contact. Yeah, or they can get in contact with the local people who the organisation. Okay. If you want to actually get in touch with me, you can get in touch through Facebook, I'm on Facebook and I'm on West Lancs. West Lancs and Society. West Lancs and Society. Plus, they can see you in boots. They can see me in boots. I'm always on the tip. Always on the tip. <laughs> okay. Malika, thank you so much for taking the time tonight to chat to us. Okay. And uh, I think, what, what what was the message you gave to people with MS? It's not the end, it's is it? It's not the end. Don't give up. It's not the end. Don't give up. It's not the end. It's a very positive message. Yeah. Thank you, Malika. Yeah.